our phone has a camera and microphone, and they are constantly connected to the power supply. Therefore, there is a possibility that someone spies on us right now or listens to us because scammers can hack our phone. Almost every day there is a news in the world about new vulnerabilities in our phones. Therefore, in today's video I'll show you a hidden button in the phone that will protect us from spying almost 100%. I will also show you how to turn off the the settings in our phone that every day collect about us information and discharge our phone. Welcome to my channel and let's get started. To activate this hidden button we need to first activate developer options on our phone. I will do this on two phones so that you can find these settings on your phone. Let's start with this phone, head to main settings. After that in settings tap on search. Then type software. And here you can see software information, tap on that. And tap on software information again. After that tap on build number 7 times. Until you see notification that the developer mode is turned on. And on second phone head to main settings. After that select about phone. And here scroll down to OS version. Tap on that 7 times. So now the developer options are turned on, let's find them in the settings. Head to main settings on your phone, after that in the upper right hand corner of the screen tap on search and type developer. Then you can find developer options, tap on that and here scroll down little bit to quick settings developer tiles, tap on that. And then turn on the switch next to sensors off. After that if you swipe down to open the quick settings panel on your phone you will see new button sensors off. This button works so that if you turn it on then access to all sensors in the phone is blocked. For example to the accelerometer, gyroscope, compass as well as the camera and microphone. It is worth noting that you can be spied on not only through the camera and microphone but also for example through motion sensors by matching data from different phones. Now I'll show you how it works. Let's turn on this button and after that for example let's open camera. And as you can see it is impossible. We will see notification that security policy prevents use of camera. And now if scammers want to spy on you they will not be able to do it because access to the camera, microphone and other sensors is blocked at the system level and when you want to use these sensors for example a camera then just turn off this button and now you can open your camera and use it normally. Also if you want to call someone or get a call you must turn off this button first. So your microphone works, you don't need to use this button all the time, only for example during important conversations when your sensitive information may be heard. And now let's move on the settings that are often enabled by default and work in the background collecting data about us and since they work in the background they also drain and slow down our phone. Let's start with the features you should enable to protect your phone from spyware and malware. For this on your phone head to main settings. After that select security and privacy. Then scroll down little bit to function auto blocker and turn this on. This feature blocks spyware and malware on your phone. After that scroll all the way down and select more privacy settings. And here we can see functions from the manufacturer of our phone which collect data about us in order to show us advertisements. The names of the functions may differ slightly depending on the phone model, but will be similar. Let's turn them off. First turn off personal data intelligence, then select customization service on this phone and tap account settings. Here turn off this switch and tap stop. Then select get news and special offers on this phone and again tap on account settings. Scroll all the way down and turn off get news and special offers. Click stop and then turn off improve personalized advertising. Tap turn off then tap back, tap back again 
and the last thing is send diagnostic data. This function sends data about how we use our phone to the manufacturer, and this drains our phone faster, uses our internet and slows it down, so we turn it off. Uncheck the box and tap OK. We have already turned off the functions that collect data about us from the phone manufacturer, but the same functions still exist from Android itself, and now we will turn them off to scroll all the way down. And here you will see Android personalization service. Turn this off, turn this off, then tap back, then select ads. This is the main function that collects information about us and provides it to applications on our phone so that they can show personalized advertising. So first uh, let's delete information which already collected about us, tap reset advertising ID, tap confirm, and after that tap delete advertising ID and confirm it, then tap back. And the last function, usage and diagnostics, tap on that and turn this off. And that's how we turn it off all the functions on your phone that were collecting information about you. Since they were running in the background, your phone will now last longer on a single charge and run more smoothly. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss to helpful videos. Thanks to everyone supporting my channel, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support too, you can do so via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.